Republican governor and U.S. presidential contender Ron DeSantis' campaign has shared a provocative video which slams rival Donald Trump for his past support of gay and transgender people. DeSantis' says campaign posted the video on Twitter late on Friday, saying it marked the end of a month of LGBTQ plus pride celebrations. The video then suddenly veers into a different direction. Accompanied by dark, thumping music and images of DeSantis, it then highlights that DeSantis signed the most extreme slate of anti-trans laws in modern history in a draconian anti-trans bathroom bill. The video received heavy criticism, with some even declaring it homophobic. As governor, DeSantis has backed state laws aimed at restricting medical treatment for transgender children and barring minors from attending drug shows in Florida. DeSantis, as he tries to gain the center stage in the Republican camp, is positioning himself as the most conservative among the candidates, and to underline that, he has even tabled a new law to curb immigration, while bolstering his migration relocation program among the key features the bill would end so-called catch and release and would detain migrants crossing the border until their hearing dates. Now, catch and release refers to a practice of releasing a migrant to the community while he or she awaits hearings in immigration court. This law will further deny entry to any migrant at the border claiming political asylum. Furthermore, the new law includes allocating funds to move migrants without lawful status out of the state. The law will also end tax remittances for migrants living in the country illegally to pay for the construction of a border wall. DeSantis would also move to end the so-called birthright citizenship, which allows children of migrants born in this country to become U.S. citizens. Mexico's foreign ministry has reacted to the new law and has said in a statement that the provisions could prompt discrimination and racial profiling. They added that it will give rise to hostile environments, intimidation and even hate crimes. The ministry further added that Mexico respects U.S. legislative processes Yet, it views the Florida law as working against joint efforts by the U.S. and Mexico to treat migrants with respect. Stephen Golub is a political analyst and also a lawyer. He's joining us live from California. Stephen, welcome to the program. Mexico's government has slammed the, state, the, the tough new state immigration law in Florida, spearheaded by DeSantis. The Mexican government now says they will help protect undocumented Mexicans in that state. Is that even possible? What do you make of this bill? Yeah, it's minimally possible for the Mexican government to help. I believe the way in which they'll mainly do it, to the extent they will at all, is to publicize instances of abuse uh, in which people are treated cruelly under the law. Uh, or people are singled out even though they're not even undocumented aliens here. So some contribution to battling the law on the part of Mexico through its consulates, through press releases, alliances with civil society groups and the like, but not a big difference maker. More generally regarding the law, this is another instance of, as your introduction rightfully pointed out, uh, Ron DeSantis running to the right of Donald Trump in order to try to garner more Republican support to win the Republican nomination based on anti-immigrant sentiments. And this really is a cruel law in the ways you mentioned, among other things, it also will discourage people from undocumented aliens, be it from Mexico or other places, from seeking medical care in a hospital for fear that they'll be turned over to the police or deported if they do so, if they have a heart attack, if they're in a gun, if they're in a, uh, an automobile accident, under all sorts of circumstances. So it's really a step backward in terms of a commitment on the part of the United States, in this case, specifically Florida, uh, to, to the rights of immigrants, to the people who made this country great to begin with. Stephen, DeSantis is also ruffling feathers with the LGBTQ community. The Florida governor sought to contrast his record opposing gay and transgender rights in a video highlighting comments made by the former President Donald Trump during his 2016 campaign, but has gotten some pushback. Will this have any effect in the upcoming GOP elections or nominations? I'm afraid it may because 
there are many people in the Republican Party who are sympathetic to DeSantis's point of view regarding the, those kinds of rights, you know, for gender minorities in the United States. And even though it could end up hurting him in the general election, this kind of stance could help him in winning the Republican nomination, given the constituency of Republicans he's appealing to. If I may add one more element to our consideration of the immigration issue, this could really specifically hurt people of Indian descent as well. Uh, it's not just targeted against Mexicans, or the ramifications wouldn't just hurt Mexicans in terms of what DeSantis is favoring, not in the immigration bill itself, in that, as you pointed out, He's trying to take away the birthright, or he favors taking away the birthright of people born in the United States to be in the to be U.S. citizens. That's guaranteed in our in our constitution. It's unconstitutional. He's he favors restricting the rights of people who are here as legal migrants mm -hmm. to sponsor relatives coming into the U.S. So this could hurt people of Indian ancestry as well in a very unfair way. Again, not the bill itself, but the general anti-immigrant platform he's adopting, including right. even against legal immigration. Stephen, and finally, I want your brief uh, response to this. How would you rate DeSantis' character as compared to Donald Trump? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, it, boy, it's. I'd say he's worse in the sense that he knows what he's doing. This is a Harvard Law School trained lawyer who's favoring an unconstitutional uh, provision to try to bar immigrants, to try to bar people from having U.S. citizenship, even if they're entitled to it. However, having said that, he is rational to some extent. He is, he does understand the law. He does understand governance to some extent. Some of his policies, even if people disagree with them, are rational. They could garner some cons legitimate conservative support. Not all of them, because he's been anti-democrat, anti-voting rights, anti-protest um, rights, and now anti-immigrant rights. But Donald Trump, on the other hand, is someone who, to put it mildly, is very irrational and has himself voiced some very, very nativist, anti-immigrant, sexist uh, um, attitudes and tries to stir up the pot of hate in this country. So they, are, they, they each have their um, own drawbacks, hmm. but in some respects, Trump is even worse to bring, to, you know, to make a long story short. Right. Stephen Golub is a political analyst and also lawyer. Stephen, thank you very much for all your insights and for talking to We On Wild is One today. Thanks for having me.